so today class we are going to discuss about the glided so what are that so now i'm going to see so what is in this uh, glided time so this class is for working with a date or time fields and date or times in general for example i need to so keep a proper date for example today date i need to display so some date uh, after um, after 10 days uh, sorry before 10 days back what is the day so everything the date and time everything we are going to display on a screen or otherwise in a field values we need to keep so that the reason we are using the glide date time so this object using the new keyword how we can use this a uh, glide date time is nothing but so we can use a new keyword with a no arguments initializes it to the current date and time in gmt okay you can see for example i'm going to take as a one variable and you can see the current dot start underscore time this is also the field value okay so the field value current is nothing but it's a particular record which is ready to display at the time okay so that record value and dot start underscore time is nothing but so which is the start time there is a starting variable or any particular field value we need to take and next in that dot get glide object is there so we are going to get the so time object so that's the reason we can use that an easy way to convert the value into a date and time so field to a glide date and time object by using the glide date uh, sorry get glide object method for example, I'm going to use a previously, I'm using only one particular field that contains only the uh, system, what is means string value only. So how to convert into the date and time so that we can use by using of your get glide object. So that kind of the, so API can write to convert your particular date and time into the, part, sorry. So uh, string values to be converted to the particular date or time so adding or removing the time so that is also by using of your gl uh, glide date and time so we can use and there are multiple methods are there so what kind of the multiple methods by using of this glide date time so we can use the add method and what, what kind of the add methods are ready to follow in this area I means simple so that method accept the so two arguments one is the date and time so glide uh, time and object and number of milliseconds like a for example, uh, date is there, hours or minutes, sorry. So date is there like a, so year, so uh, months and days are there. So next one, so the uh, days and hours, minutes, seconds. So these are all different, different type of categories. We are going to add the particular, so date and time, and we are going to remove that everything. So we can add the specific number of days using the add days uh, local time, okay? So that is the reason we can use this one. And uh, next one is nothing but we can add the time week by week. For example, I need to add a so week of the particular um, so month. So we can add by using. So these are all the different different type of APIs we are using the by related to the glide date time. Okay. So that's the reason I'm going to use this glide date time. So we need to show one example because so while going to explaining the glide date time is it's it's look like a clumsiness. Okay. So what is a glide time? Uh, glide date time. So where it will be used and everything we need to so find out by using of your practical example. So one scenario we need to write. For example, I need to find out my so for example if any uh, values i'm going to give so uh, days like uh, years months and dates i given for example i given one value so this is a one value i given so wh what is that value means this is a um, for example one date of birth i given so that date of birth is so i'm going to count that up to now so up to today or otherwise yesterday so how many days was completed for example one person data birth is there this is a data birth 1984 is there so that is a data of birth and then we are going to take as a now today's or yesterday's whatever maybe so now how many days completed up to there okay so that we need to find out by using of your glide date time okay so how to find out and everything i need to so display this is a one query you can see that create a new glide date time instance for the current date and time so what does it mean so previously i given 
so i need to find out particular uh, so how many days was completed if the person has born at the particular day so how many days was completed so till now so we need to count this um, area so we can count how many days was completed we need to check in this one okay so that's the reason we can write a code in a practical manner and i will show the result where it will be ready to so find out the glide date time result and value okay so now let's we go to our practical session so for this reason i will go to my so this is my personal developer instance i need to open the personal developer instance this is a main page oh i think it is a in a half line i'll take another one so this is another uh, instance so i'm going to use okay now let's we see i'm going to write a one uh, back end code because of the reason so this is not a business rule this is not a so client script and this is not a so ui is scripting like this yes or no because of the reason i'm just writing some code and write to fetch some data from your particular so i'm going to uh, code i'm going to write and i'm going to see the display at a time only so that's why i'm not to just displaying on any kind of the field values or particular any table i'm not to involve in this area so that's why how should i write the code means i need to write in a script backgrounds is a one area will be there so you can utilize the script background that area so click on this uh, all and you can go and just simply click uh, type so scripts okay so scripts background is there in a system definition so we have the scripts background is there simply i'm going to just click on this area you can see so now this is the end of the server side code i need to fetch the data i need to display some result means so this area will be so good for us so now for this reason i'm going to take some kind of the variables and i'm going to write a code for this area okay so now so first of all variable initialization that is very very important okay so var you can see that variable initialization is there var current date so current date so i'm going to take this variable name current date is nothing but so today date so you are going to take that particular so date you need to just find out so here there is a new so glide date so glide date time so it is just right to take as a argument to get the data from your glide date time record means that in a particular so area it can write to get the all the date and times values will be ready to coming to a so current date variable so that is very very important you can just keep in your mind so because of the reason all the date and time so uh, glide date and time values will be ready to store in your current data sorry current date so now i'm going to start with a glide date time values so that's why so that's the reason we are going to start with that again we are going to take a one more variable var so so start date i'm going to take a start date i'm going to take what is the start date again i'm going to take a so new glide date time okay so this is a another one again so this is a two values i'm going to take from one is a current date and another one is a so start date so we need to take this two kind of the values the, from the glide date and time glide date time variable only so, so this api only will write to give a all the values now so we can start with a date we are going to give a date to the particular area you can take that so, so what is the meaning of the start start date so what does that means this is a variable this variable i need to use so start date dot so what we need to keep in this area so set display value so set display value what kind of the value we need to display in this area so i'm going to keep that it's a so for example one person date of birth i'm going to use so 1986 so 06 means year month and after that so uh, dates right 1986 for example 6 so 26 will be there so now i'm going to use this uh, so i'm not going to end this one space so what is that uh, am what does it means day means like a 24 hours or something is there now so i'm going to use it 00 hours colon and 00 minutes 
and colon and 00, zero seconds so now we are going to finish this one so now what it will be i'm going to use this so semicolon closing of parenthesis and as well as so semicolon i'm going to provide in this area so that is a start date okay fine so start date was got it and the value also we given set display value of the start date i given to that okay so end date also we need to provide again so back again we need to provide end date so what is the end date again i'm going to use a so one more same as the same how i just taken the new glide date time so i'm going to use same as this new again so glide date time okay so i'm going to use a new glide date time so in this area again same as is display value also we need to keep here that is a how this is the start date dot set display value i taken so same as this so end date dot set display value okay so set display value what kind of the set display value now that is a today's date you can just mention or otherwise yesterday days date you can mention for example 2023 and the to sixth month so that too it's a second day i'm going to give okay so second day or third day whatever be your wish okay so then so 23 hours okay so how many 59 minutes so 59 seconds means is around the end of the day so second day end so that's the reason we can use and we can use the so single quotes and parenthesis close and as well as so semicolon and simply i'm going to next line see here what i just taken so var current date is equals to new glide uh, date and time so date time and var start date is also i'm going to take as a new glide date time so start date or set display value means so i just given a value which we have that is a previous one like a for example i need to find out the differences between the today's days to so uh some long years back some date okay so wh what is the difference between these two days i'm going to provide so that's the reason so i just given in that area and where end date is also i'm going to take from your new client date time and we are going to just provide the end date dot set display value so what is that so now today's data yesterday date i just provided here now so we are going to write a differences right i need to provide the difference or not so that's why i'm going to write the var again i'm going to declare that so var so days difference so that is a one more uh, so variable i'm going to take so days difference is equal to so same as i'm going to take so glide okay glide date time dot subtract see so subtract subtraction is nothing but we are going to subtract subtract from the last date to so first date like this so we are going to do use a so subtract method so subtract and in this bracket we can write a start date and so end date so now i'm going to provide that is a start date what is the start date variable so start date only so start date comma and what is the next date end date right end date that's it so end date dot okay i'm going to use this so two times it was good so dot and next one get display so get day part so this is a formula we can use get day part that's it okay i'm using this one so that's all we just use this uh, so line so this is very very important because so where days difference is equal to so glide date time so dot subtract where we are going to subtracting so from your start date to any date we are going to uh, dif uh, difference will be so calculating and dot day part we, we can we can use that so uh, day part only this is an extra method we can use to get the so difference of your dates okay now so then finally so we are going to display that information what we are going to display so gs how to display that uh, server side code means by using of your glide system so gs.info in that gs.info i'm going to provide see here what we need to is display so the number of days 
between okay so between and end of this um, string and i'm going to give a single quotes plus so we are going to add what is the start date so start dot sorry start date so dot get display value so get display value this is the first one we need to provide and plus and so we are going to use and so then what does it means plus we are using that end date so end date end date dot get display value so end date dot get display value so now this is the end date and plus so we can use that is a is so what is a is and here that is a so we can use that plus and we can use a days so what is a days difference see here that is a days difference so days difference so days difference value dot sorry days difference now only we got that value in this area so that is a count number we can take and plus so we can use that is a days so here we can see that's all so we completed this code so now you can see again i'm going to explain listen carefully so this is very simple area current date you can take and you can take this a new client date time so you can take in a variable current date and you can start it you can take and as well as you can just start it dot set display value you can take the variable so that's a value we need to take and the end date also we can take and you can take as a so end date value okay so current date you can take and days difference means we need to subtracting of these two values start date and end date we can we are ready to sub, uh, subtract and we are going to add the, the get day part we can add so that's the reason and now we are going to display this is a this is our method we need to display any kind of the i need to just decorate that all the values so that's why i am using all the informations otherwise simply you can write there is a days difference means we can display that gs dot info in a brackets days difference means automatically it will show the number of days difference between the 1986 6th month 26th day so two so 2023 6th <coughs> month second date how many days the difference will be there days see here 1000 sorry so 13490 days are there you can see these are the days completed up to so 1986 to so 2023 so if i am going to count it days automatically it will try to show the so number of days are just for example if i am going to take it as a so 84 only so you can see if i am going to run the script see here so 14 220 okay 14220 days completed so not a months and not a so years so we are going to take this this is a starting date and this is a ending date we are just calculating the taste value okay